sugar dumpling. Let me tell you something, girl. You just a sweet little thing. You look so good, and you so darn on fine. I just can't get you off of my mind. You become a sweet taste in my mind. And I want you to be my spouse. And we could live happily now, now, now. In this great old big old groovy house. Come on, let me groove you, baby. Oh, suck it to me. Make me feel good inside. Groove me, baby. Ow. Oh, excuse Damn. <laughs> I was here. <laughs> I had one of them granddaddies and grandmama flashbacks. <laughs> Yo, how y'all doing out there? For those who don't want to hear what I have to say, do yourself a favor. Get the fuck on out of here. This is not for the weak-minded, weak-hearted, and the half-retarded-ass motherfuckers that want to come and try to show that they smart. I had one dude just kept typing, there's nowhere in history where we was considered Indians first. Yo, you put that motherfucker brain in a bird, it'll fly backwards. But before I get started, man, I remember 50 said he didn't start getting free shit till he got famous. And I, I got a robe from my man I told y'all about out there in Detroit. It's real nice. I don't have it right here right now to show y'all. But Romeo Romero, Romello, Wrote these book, wrote this book. Romeo Romello. He ain't give me a dime to, to promote his book. And I know a lot of internet dudes be wanting to promote shit. But I guess you have to go to his channel and look it up. If you want hear Romeo, you need to put it in there. I think he had wrote something on it. In order to get it, I don't know if you can go online anywhere. All I got to tell Romeo, I don't work for you. <laughs> but he sent me this, and I'm going to read this whole thing. This, And that was a good gift, you know, for doing that. But Romeo Romero, Mermelo, he did a book. Pac did a book. Everybody did a book. You understand? He said, Gene, put it side by side, up and down with each other. His name Romeo Romero, Romello. Look, look for it right there. Yo, I don't know who this kid is, but this nigga got the fire. And he got a thing called Don't Oh my God. About I think what's his, what's the name of his shit? Yo, I gotta tell y'all, I gotta go upstairs and get this shit. If I can't find it, I'm gonna go get this shit. Cause his shit is off the fucking chain. Great quality. Don't hide the plug. WWW don't hide the plug. www don't hide the plug yo this dude sent me some hats oh my god listen all high quality 
That's all black. Don't hide the plug. King of clout. Would that be me? <laughs> Don't hide the plug. Clout. When I bring out that black 60, that black uh, 70 Cadillac this summer, drop top all done over. <laughs> Look at these joints here, bro. Old New York. Don't hide the plug. Nigga, I'm gonna. No diddy. <laughs> diddy ain't gonna hide the plug. <laughs> Yo, they say they got this new shit going around. Instead of saying Paul, they say no diddy. Yo, look at this joint. Fire, fire, old New York. Oh my God. Look at that. These niggas was doing their thing. Y'all better don't hide the plug. <laughs> Look at this joint right here. Oh my God. I got some shirts that's going to be crazy. Look at this shit. I want to thank Don't Hide the Plug for those hats. I definitely want to thank Romy Romello. I guess if uh, he's www.romeo Romello, check that out online. Poverty Poetry. I'm going to check it out. I haven't read it yet, but I will. I thought I finished this. I'm plugging everybody else shit. Let's me plugs my book. <laughs> Yo, I sent everybody book out the day I got like seven orders when I had like 20 some books and I sent all their books out and then nobody got their damn book and then I, I sent everybody else another book and they got their book the day I sent it out and then two days later they got the other book I don't know what the post office was doing they was I don't know what the hell was it was doing, but right now in this box, I got two, four, six, eight. I got eight books I'm going to sell with the signature on it. After that, y'all going to have to wait till the new book come out before I start doing any kind of other signatures and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get to this. I got a couple of things I want to talk to y'all about. What's going on, Bigham? 313 Evans, Gemini. Antoine Falk, what up? Yeah, yeah, I remember he was trying to sign Twister. Uh, Twister didn't want to get twisted. That wasn't right. Oh, Beverly Clayton out there in Palm Springs. Is it warm out there? I know it's warm out there, right? Hey, Queen D. Hi, everybody out there. Look at Matrix Manny. What's going on, Matrix Manny? Who was in here? Who was in here at the beginning? You know, because I, I don't really know. Because I was I was doing some I was doing some promotions. Hey, Missy, honey. I gotta say. Oh, Monique Hill. Thank you, Monique. Monique Hill is in here. In it to win it. Oh, hey, Sharice. Sharice, a.k.a. Sharice. Dana Jacobs. Sharice. Yeah. See who's in here. Well, anyway. Listen. There's a couple things I want to talk to y'all before, before I get into this whole thing. You know, on the Diddy industry versus 
Diddy Internet. Whoa. And y'all going to understand where I'm coming from and where y'all going to see what I'm talking about. But first, I want to talk about how this shit went off on Capitol Hill. They had a doctor on Capitol Hill talking about transgender because, you know, the big thing now is the transgender gingers trying to evade women's sports. They want to take over. They want to show how much a woman they are by playing in women's sports. Or should I say, they trying to show how much men they are by playing in women's sports. Did I get that right? So now they on Capitol Hill and they in one of the Senate meetings. So the Republican Senator, uh, what his name, Matt McPhee was speaking with a doctor and he said to the doctor, he said, Dr. Gwendolyn Herzig, Herzig, H-E-R-Z-I-G, I think Herzig. He said, well, let me ask you a question, doctor. Did any, hold up, hold up. Did any of y'all see that? Or that y'all wasn't interested in that stuff like that? Hey, Diamond Shorty, Kim Sapphire. Kim Sapphire, I'm going to get you the new book. God, I'm waiting on Mike Sessions, a.k.a. Mike Cock. They know him from Harlem. He doing the cover. God, you can't wait. Go be in there looking at my pictures, talking about, hmm, Gene used to be fine. Gene was hella fine. I bet she wasn't shit. I'm sure I wasn't. I'm, God, I'm glad God changed me. Because, man, listen here. <laughs> Flashbacks. But anyway, the senator asked the doctor who said that, he said, she said, uh, I'm a um, transgender. He said, I'm a Transgender, female, 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 fe fe female, transgender. <laughs> she couldn't even get the shit out. She said, I'm a transgender female. That's what she said. And uh, Senator, Representative, I mean, the, the Republican Senator, Matt McPhee said, oh, so you got a dick? <laughs> I mean, he said, you got a penis? And then everybody was like, oh, that's shameful. That's inappropriate. I was like, he asked the wrong question. He asked a good question, but the wrong way. Look at Matrix Manning. He said, yo, you got a penis? He said penis. He didn't say dick. I, I would just... I was just being a little bit one lady sparkle D one one one. I was just being a little, you know, Gene Deal. <laughs> he, said, he said, "Yo, but he asked that, and everybody, oh, that's shameful. That's inappropriate. That's the, they start going off on him. It was a great question. He just worded it wrong. He said." Were you born with male genitalia? That's what he should have asked. Charlene Campbell, am I right? Hi, Charlene Campbell. Mmm, -hmm, good. Mmm, -hmm, good. Charlene Campbell soup is. I shouldn't have did that. I'm sorry, Charlene, because I hate it when people made fun of my name. Are you, are you spell it like deal pickle or deal these? I'm sorry, Charlene. I'm, I ain't mean to do that, mama. Take that back. I'll take that back. Okay.
Good. That's a good. You're a good sport, Charlene. I appreciate you, Mama. Right, wild card. It's how he should. He being a senator, he shouldn't have just came out and asked if she had a dick. I mean, she had a penis. Excuse me. She shouldn't have asked that. And this is a hell of a time for you to ask to be a new member when I'm talking about that. Elijah Foreman is a member, y'all. Elijah is <laughs> Elijah Foreman. Elijah Foreman. Elijah Foreman is a member, y'all. Hey, Elijah Foreman. Elijah Foreman. Elijah Foreman is a member, y'all. Right when I'm speaking about transsexual. Yeah. Elijah Foreman member, y'all. Hey, Elijah Foreman. Elijah Foreman. Elijah Foreman is a member, y'all. Yo, I'm going to take that shit back from Gene. No, no, no. Thank you, Elijah Foreman, for being a member to the Gene Deal Show. We appreciate you. You got to hold off on your membership sometime. I appreciate it. But if I'm talking about a certain thing, Elijah, I, would, I just wouldn't be a member right then. Let me just hold off because he might be talking about something really hardcore. But you good with your sexuality. You understand that you a man. That shit don't bother you. That shit don't affect who you are because Gene said that. Because Gene... Don't hide the plug. <laughs> my man, what you getting that for? Can I do my shopping by myself? <laughs> but butt plugs? I got to stop, man. Too much damn Kool-Aid. <laughs> Crystal Hope, happy Sunday to you, Crystal Hope. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Hold up, that's my nigga right there. That's what I'm talking about, Elijah. I just love women, real women, born at birth women. Let me see your birth certificate type of women. That's what I'm talking about, Elijah. Money, that's my nigga right there. No, Elijah, my nigga, for real, for real. You understand? Took me a long time to get a membership, but, you know, I'm just fucking with you, Elijah. <laughs> Mythical, happy, happy Sunday to you, too. Women are some of the, women are some of the greatest creatures in this world. Especially when they know how to treat a man. I love a confident. I love a confident jazzy. A woman don't worry about any other woman when she got you. If a woman worrying about another chick, I want to know why she worrying about her if I supposed to be with her. Maybe she knows something about the chick that I need to know. Because if you worrying about some other female, oh, I don't want to get off. Just, 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 let me just get back to the thing. We right here at this next thing. So now they about to go crazy on Capitol Hill because they trying to pass this law that transsexuals, trans women cannot put, I mean, what the fuck, I'm, I, don't, I need to stab myself in the neck with a fucking, men that are transsexuals cannot play in women's sports. Men that are transsexuals cannot play in the women's sports. Men who want to buy them some titties and Act like they women and cut off their things. 
you're still a man. If you're born a man, you are a man. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all can hate me, whatever. It is what it is. I'm... I don't, I'm not trying to be famous or be on this, that, and the third. I just do me. So if you don't like it, whoo, my motto is pretty easy. Fuck you and feed you beans. Big Ma, I know the whole game is twisted, bro. That's caused this Holly weird shit. That's because this Holly weird shit. Wild card, a man should be a man. But I don't think men should try to invade what God had put in this. And it's all because, let me just tell you something. All this shit started with these, with these white boys. If these white boys didn't have nothing to do with that shit, they'd have killed all. If, if it was a bunch of black, black men, ninjas, that were starting this shit, and, and, and just wanted to do something, they would have killed them all off. They would have prosecuted them and did all kinds of shit. It's because these young white boys wanted to be into this shit. That's why they even give a damn. Elvis, why you ask me that right now? And, and, and Elvis, for Polo Vision, bro, we got to talk because I don't do this. You got to put a, a couple more numbers in front of that and a couple more zeros. <laughs> no, let's, let's just kidding, but that number ain't right. <laughs> Not if you want an hour or so. Yeah. So now, I want to talk about this, y'all, because I, I know all the senators is going to vote hell no. They're going to vote that down. They're going to vote that down with the fact that they know that Trump is coming into the presidency. Hey, Trump is going to win. No ifs, ands, or but they the black people from DC want was on, on the internet talking about tell Trump to come down here. Cause how in the hell they giving all these uh migrants nine point two nine thousand two hundred dollar cards, eleven thousand dollar cards. Them niggas then took my line in Marshall. I can't even go in marshals no more. The migrants is all in the in the fucking shopping centers and the stores. <laughs> the shit is crazy. Bill Will, I'm out of order. Shit. And, and they juice in the system. They got family members and relatives over here. They go stay in the shelters a couple of days out the week or stuff like that. Then they go live with they be with their relatives with these big ass cards they get each month. Nigga, come on, that's more money than some people are making at their job a year. They guarantee to get that shit for at least six months. Or better. Now, a lot of people ain't gonna like this, but who cares? They talking about the goon squad in Mississippi. Now, the goon squad 
but they just they talk about it was like six roll cots. Tell the fucking truth. Six roll cops. Six roll cops. Elvis, let's talk about it later, bro. Let's talk about it. I'll call you after this podcast show. So, I like to get <laughs> Ray, Ray Brown. I like to get 200 to learn English. <laughs> Yo, they these cops had been abusing black prisoners, black people in the prison system in jails and arrests they call it the goon squad uh when they was arresting people and everything like that um or uh, when they was in jail let me get it straight when they was in jail they call it a goon squad in order for you to work night shifts you had to be part of the goon squad so they just trying to say that it was six rogue cops my man, if you go back 10 to 15 years, or you can go back at any time, those cops just didn't start that shit. They had been, that had become a custom for them to do that shit. No, I've never seen Easy E hard hitting documentary. Mississippi. Uh, you would get a lot of those states down there, man, when those, they call them good old boys. Them good old boys and have done, and you done a lot to prisoners on arrest, all kinds of shit, and been getting away with murder. And here go these judges who, when they get them in the court, they give them light sentence or they throw shit out of court. Or when somebody's complaining about them, nobody does shit for them for years. Bro, I don't think that Meek Mills and Diddy Auto audio is, uh, I don't think it's real. Not at all. That's bullshit. Yeah, it was a it was a shooting in Russia. It was a uh, it was a it was a mass murder shooting in Russia. That's crazy, right there. You are gonna believe whoever they catch is gonna be real. It's gonna be crazy. Hey, Chris Carl Collins, how you doing, Chris Collins? That's one of my members. That's Chris Collins. Yeah. So, anytime when you see them, they only put six roll cop. When they use the word roll. They trying to exclude all the other cops who did the shit too and got away with the bullshit that they were doing. You understand? That ain't, listen here. I want y'all to understand what they trying to do. Anybody who's in my channel right now, if I'm wrong, y'all come back, cuss me the fuck out and say, Gene, I'm unsubscribing because you don't know what the fuck you talking about. They want to take the black people and the Hispanic people that we know that are black and make those the lesser class. They trying to bring as many Asian people and Mexicans into this country. Mexican, Venezuelan, Latino, whatever you want to call them, Spanish. They trying to bring all the motherfuckers into this country to make us as the black people a lesser class of people because they don't understand our plight. They will never understand our fight and they are not going to go with us with us when we're right. Let me bring that back to you. They don't understand our plight. They not going to go with us when we're in a fight. 
They don't understand what we're fighting for. And they never going to understand or help us when we're right. Fight, flight, and right. However you want to put it. Those people are not going to side with us. They just jumped a little 17-year-old boy, like five or six of them, jumped a little 17-year-old boy and stabbed him to death down, damn near stabbed him to death down in the motherfucking round Times Square area. The FBI just did a report and just released it that they released all the prisoners, the major prisoners from the Venezuelan government, all the guys that was in prison and shit like that, Go to America, go to America. Get the fuck out of it. Go to America. The motherfuckers came to America. They gonna side with certain Mexican mobs, M MS 13s, this Venice Venezuelan gang, and it's gonna be hell and hot water. Now, the, the Democratic Party want to, they want, they still want their whites, but they want to exclude the black. They know the blacks is going back to be Republicans. We were Republicans at first. They know the blacks are going back to the Republican Party. So what they're trying to do is make us the lesser class of people. The black Americans. Because none of those, either those Asians, you know, they don't understand shit you saying out your mouth unless you're talking about four chicken wings and some fried rice. That wasn't right, right? shouldn't have said that right but you get what i mean right when they gotta pay you back your money me don't understand english no english i did say it cost 75 dollars but i don't understand english no english Right? Look what official ADHD said. I ain't the only one that think that, that know that. Yo, 20, 25 years from now, listen, God bless me if I'm still an old motherfucker being around to see it. Hope I am. Knock on wood. If these brothers don't start getting their shit together and they self together, it's going to be hell and hot water for us. I'm telling you. I want to go on to this right quick. And um, this touch kind of home with me because I was kind of messed up but then I kind of was trying to understand what I would really do three black kids they call them the little rascals. They went up into a bank, I think it was in Houston. Hey, a gift and a curse podcast. 
they went up in a bank in Houston, gave a teller a note, and was calling themselves robbing the bank. The ages were 11, 12, and 16. They're going to end up doing five years somewhere, probably. Because our bank, your first bank robbery is, I think, it's automatically five years. And some kind of detention center or whatever, however they do it. 11, 16, and 12. Yeah, Monique. Monique said, wow. So I was talking to Miss Pleasant, and she said, they mothered them and they fathered them. Uh, turned them in. And I'm doing a show right now. Can I call you back? Right. Yo, they say they mother and they fathered them turned them in. And I was stuck on the fence with that right there. I understood why the mother and father and them turned them in and everything. But I didn't want to be as a parent. I didn't want to tell on myself and then I would have to get a case too. Let's hope. Salute. Appreciate that. I would have a problem with that. You know why I would have a problem with that? Because I thought I got through beating the shit out that nigga ass. Yo. They would have had to call BCW on me. Because he would have got his ass so the 11 and 12 year old show would have got his ass whooped. That 16 year old, I'd have fought that nigga like he was a man. And you run out there and didn't get no money either? You didn't put these motherfuckers on the radar. They come to my house. They going to do all this shit like that. And you ain't get a dime? But I'd have whooped his ass so bad, BC to everybody in the neighborhood, yo, I'd have beat the skin off his ass. He'd got one of those good ass extension card whips, whoopings. I'd have cut a motherfucking power cable. Wrap that shit around and whoop the shit out of his ass. Tied that motherfucker leg down to a pole and just went on beating the shit out of him. Taking breaks. No, they won't get charged as adults. Even though they did an adult crime, they won't get charged as an adult, but they'll try to give them the same motherfucking time that they get for robbing bank. A bank robbery, your first bank robbery, no matter how much money you get, if you ain't do nothing with no gun or nothing like that, you just pass a note, that's, that's, that, that, that's five years. Now, uh-uh, grown man business TV, now. We going to do some grown man business, but we ain't doing it with no fucking belt. Nigga, I'm taking that orange cord that, that, that you plug in when you want to play the music. And I'm beating that motherfucker into the middle of next week. That's the kind of ass whooping he getting. 
at 11, 12 years old, you and your 16 year old, y'all want to run up somewhere and get a, uh, you want to rob them. And he had parents. And you want to rob a bank? Nigga, you ain't even tried a paper route. You ain't tried to pack no grocery, no. <laughs> These little kids, man, what the fuck is in their mind? What they putting in the water, y'all? What are they putting in the water? Listen, they was in Texas. Ain't no Texas judge giving them no year for no uh, grand theft. Ain't no Texas judge giving them no year. They might get sick. Hey, them Texas judge, they ain't playing that shit out there. I'm going to tell you something. Texas, Alabama, Georgia, and Louisiana are the three hardest states when it comes to banking, credit card, and judicial charges, judicial uh, uh, crimes. They are hard on your ass. Queen D, I don't know, mama. Nah, nah, nah. I know the video games and shit like that, but these kids ran up and, yo, that shit is crazy, man. Look at Otter Boys 415. Texas ain't playing with that. Those judicial, the judicial charges, they don't play with, yo, that shit about them credit cards, the motherfucking them banking shit. Nah, uh, bro. So that 16 year old might get charged as an adult. Yeah, they make example, but but see, they make examples out of us to us, but they they do the most crimes and everything. Look at the FBI report: murders are are there, and then they go always say that's because there's more white people than black people. That's why they do more murders. No. Nah. Yeah, they don't get their ass whooped like they used to, man. But listen here. We did that right now. So now I want to spend a few minutes on what the title was about. Diddy versus the industry. Diddy versus the Diddy internet. The Diddy internet foes. Is that right? Is that almost right? Is that partly right? But anyway, check it out. Y'all see that there's no major platforms. And what I mean major platforms, you don't have anybody from like uh, the Breakfast Club. What other platforms that I could say? That Vlad, uh, those big ass platforms that or financed by the industries talking about what Diddy has done like they did R. Kelly. Me and Choke was even talking about this shit. The way they did R. Kelly, you understand? You don't have no big platforms doing that same shit to Diddy. And you have to ask yourself and you have to wonder why. 
Have anybody asked themselves why? Mainstream media. Somebody said Vlad was talking about it, huh? Somebody say TMZ don't count. <laughs> yeah, they went in on R. Kelly. Dante Francis out there in the loo. Call girl, you could be right, mama. I know he better straighten out that shit. When, when, when that shit come out tomorrow and I'm going to do a show on it tomorrow or Tuesday, when that shit come out tomorrow, he better go back in there straighten all that shit and all those lying motherfuckers who was uh, putting some shit out there on my man, Wolf. When the shit come out tomorrow, they better go back and recant that bullshit they was talking. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm not going to tell you. So now, these motherfuckers were in bed with Diddy. Steve Stout got on Shay Shay Club. And they never mentioned, or they didn't even get into the whole thing about Puff and their situation and what Puff was doing and how Puff did what he did. So now what they did was they, yo, we're not going to do the business that you used to do, Puff. Because the industry said, we can't do the business that we used to do with you. Until you become more, what they call it, commercial friendly with the people. So now he hired a, a better publicity team to make him commercial friendly with you guys. What was one of the first things you seen him do to become commercial friendly that you never seen him do in the last 20 something years? B world, we already talked about the goon squad. Don't be coming here talking about it now. We we passed the goon squad. Don't know what you think about the goon squad. Take your late ass on. Cut off. Cut the damn thing off. Cut cut your shit off, man. B world, one on one. You never make it to one on two. Being that late. Nobody saying nothing right. Nobody saying nothing right. Check this shit out. They had him at Chunky e. Cheese or someplace playing with his little uh two, three year old daughter. And what y'all was oh that's so nice of Diddy. Oh, that's so cute. You see what they doing? You seen him go to concerts with his daughters and them to Kanye West concert. Yeah, Kanye, man, these motherfuckers got me fucked up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I apologize, bro. You know, we gonna do, yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Yo, I, I wanna bring my daughters them to the concert. 
They go backstage, hug and all that shit like that. Three one three Evan, it did happen. They had it all on. They had it all on the internet. He playing with his daughter at the thing. Did you see him play with? Uh, uh, I was around him with um, Christian and uh, uh, um, what's Wolf's son? I mean, uh, 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 Justin. Uh, Justin, uh, I was around him with that. We used to go out to the park and everything, but you never had nobody right there with a camera and taking photos of and stuff like that and doing that. All that set, y'all. He got a photographer doing that shit. So he could post that, that little cherished moment with his daughter. So all the women, ah, oh, look at me. Oh, he got the little baby. Soon as that fucking camera, as soon, as, as soon as the camera off, that motherfucker took the kid. Take this. <laughs> the baby talking about, Daddy! He like, camera off? Take this. <laughs> soon as the baby took the camera. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking around, y'all. Hey, I don't know that to be true. Allegedly. Allegedly. Eight more to go to be signed, y'all. Before that new one drop. Eight more to go. <laughs> you can cash out Big Gene 52 at My World of Bodyguard and Hip Hop Star. That's how you get it. So now, the only people that's going at Diddy is the internet people. Shout out to Tis Tales. Tis ain't letting up on his ass. She, she like a scorned baby mama that didn't get her child support on time. <laughs> they say that shit about me, Tis. Like I'm scorned. Let nigga do your homework. I stopped, I stopped working with 2004 or 5. I had two people that gave me way more money than he ever gave me, and that was Scott Storch and, and K. Slay. And I worked shorter for Scott Storch. So any nigga that ever bodyguard Scott Storch back in the day, well, they might got paid late, but when they got paid, they got paid. Scott paid a nigga. And if he wasn't busy paying them hoes, he'd have got a little bit more. You could have got a little bit more. <laughs> I'm pimping. <laughs> no, nigga, you simping. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That's the plug. <laughs> Don't hide the plug. <laughs> Don't hide the plug unless if Diddy around, hide the plug. <laughs> Yo, Gene, why you do my brand like that, man? <laughs> nah, don't hide the plug, man. No, 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 no. Bro, I love these hats. These motherfuckers is off the chain. Great quality the whole nine yards, man. Y'all did y'all thing, man. Y'all did y'all thing. But if Diddy around... You got to hide the plug. <laughs> Let me stop, man. Let me stop. Let me stop, man. Them niggas ain't going to never send me nothing now. Yeah, they got some. Yo, listen to me, man. The way they did this shit, oh my God. This New York shit, old New York, that shit is hot. 
Old New York. Nigga, they gonna keep Big Gene. Big Gene gonna be like, yo, Big Gene, where you get that from, dog? If I tell you, I gotta hide the plug. <laughs> Oh my God. These niggas are. Y'all, thanks for those cash apps. Darren Lewis, I got you tomorrow, bro. Get your book out. No doubt. Get my shit to me, Big Gene. You know what I'm saying? Definitely get that to you, Darren. She was up. See if anybody else I get one too. Out there in Arizona, Darren. Thank you, brother. Hope the feds ain't looking for you. <laughs> you didn't say my last name. Oh, his last name is uh no. <laughs> See here. Yeah, Cat Williams said, nah, you gotta tell Diddy no sometimes. You gotta tell a nigga no all the time if that's how niggas doing that shit. Tarnisha Welcher. Hi, Tarnika. Where you been at, Tarnika? I ain't seen that name. Because you ain't looking for my name, Gene. You just don't know. It's over here with Tarnika. You listen, you looking elsewhere. Okay, Tarnika. Yeah, that's from Don't Hide the uh, Don't Hide the Plug, man. Go look at that shit. www.donthidetheplug. I think that's their site. Look for it, man. They got some shit. The Clout Hats, King of Clout. Who the hell is that? The King of Clout. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yo, thank you. She just gave me this, uh, Carlin Green. Listen, man. Listen. I want to thank everybody that bowed their head in prayers for my daughter. And y'all prayers help her get better. I'm so thankful of y'all and the prayer warriors that come on my channel. Thank y'all, man. If we come together in prayer, we can do anything and we can make all that shit move, mountains and whatever. Monique Easton, appreciate that, super chat. So I want to thank y'all, man. She's been here about close to 30 days. And she going on. When they babies, <laughs> when they get in their thirties, a whole nother story. <laughs> Ooh. Well, Dominique, don't be late to the party next time. But no, no, love my daughters and everything. And who they call to their daddy. Take care. Denise, that was my phone. That wasn't the dog. I don't have no dog. I lost my dog a couple of years ago. I haven't replaced him yet. Replaced him with a damn cat that think it's a dog. Thank you, Larry NG. Appreciate you.
Love y'all, man. Just got home from church, Dominique. Did you pray for me? And yo, y'all watch what y'all do, what y'all what y'all touch. They got some shit out here, bro. That's why you gotta watch where you eat out at. You gotta no diddy. You gotta watch where you go buy your meals from. Places that you touch, wash your hand, cause they got some shit out here, bro. The doctors was like, yo, we don't know what it is. Somebody in the hospital for six days with a fever of 103, 105, and they can't bring the fever down. They break it, then they come right back. They break it, then they come back. She couldn't eat nothing. She around here, yo, uh, uh, and my daughter's got bodies, whereas that, you know, they healthy for women. Dude, she looking like Scarecrow? No, nah, baby, you're going to eat this. You're going to eat this steak. You're going to eat this meat. You're going to do that. Ruben, thanks for that cash out. I'm definitely going to send that book to Detroit. I'm going to get you out tomorrow too, Ruben. Yep. Freaky B, what do you do too, bro? What up with you, boy, boy? Yeah, man. That's where we at. So now, we got some of these channels that stand on his neck. They're not going to let the fact that he's going out with his kids, but they seen the pattern. They didn't pay all these people. I'm speaking of Diddy. They didn't pay these people all this money. Now, what can we do? You understand? You got a cute little daughter. Be seen more with her. Go do some political stuff. You know what I'm saying? Probably again, I don't think the colleges are nobody going to F with them. And you just heard that they, his school that he had just went down the drain because it wasn't his school in the first place. But all the investors and everybody pulled out their money and shit like that. And uh, the kids are just acting up and going. It's, it's just like a third, allegedly, it's like a third world country over there now. Keisha Renee, Keisha said, Keisha. Oh yeah, uh, is that is is that Keisha Keisha Renee? Is that the Keisha from uh, from Colombia? Is that Keisha from Colombia? Yes or no, Colombia Mo? Is that is that Keisha from Colombia Mo? Yes or no? Yep. Oh, listen, it was Keisha's birthday and I was supposed to do a show because she from Mo. You know, she from Mo, Missouri. Keisha from Mo. Keisha won't Mo. No, no, Keisha, not Keisha won't Mo. Keisha from Mo. She from Mo, Missouri. And I went and got, um, you know how you get their blood taste and all of that stuff like that? And I was just like, I was out of it afterwards and I didn't do the show. So I want to dedicate this to Keisha from Mo, Keisha Renee. It's her birthday was Wednesday. So chat, I want everybody, please, let's give her a belated birthday. Shout out. Happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. We wish it was our birthday so we could party too. Happy belated birthday, Keisha. Oh, yo, condolences to Drake. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We can't be wishing, saying no condolences. We wishing happy birthday to Keisha. Who condolences to who?
No, see, what happens is this. Let me finish what's going on. See, Diddy got so much shit on people and then done so much uh, stuff behind the scenes for people. Because listen to me, I tried to tell y'all his power when he stopped them from going to commercial on BET. Well, I think was it Black Entertainment Television or Grant, some some program? He stopped them from going to commercial. Nigga, what kind of power you got if you... Nigga, they don't stop commercials for the president. He stopped the damn commercial. But let me just say something right here. Do y'all remember that show, The Boondocks? Anybody remember The Boondocks? Pamela said, yep. Yeah, yeah. Top not say, yep. Yeah. Miss. These are people, they remember the boondocks. Cinnamon remember it. I want the four book, four book. The two reasons they took the boondocks off the air. The first person give me the two reasons, all in the same thing. The two reasons. Look at look, what are we asking for? You just don't 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 matter. Nope, you got one. I said two. People only giving me one. Somebody say thug love. Nope. Mm -mm. Nobody got it right. That was one of the greatest cartoons of our time. The two reasons they took it off. Come on, people. Somebody said, because of Thuggalicious. <laughs> nah, not for Thug. I said both. Somebody said one reason. Somebody said another reason. Nobody put the two reasons in one thing. Put the two reasons in the chat. This is not the smart chat today. Is this not the smart chat today? The 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 the. I gave Re her book last week. I ain't even heard seen her back on the chat. No. Nobody put the two reasons in yet. On one, I'm looking for the two reasons on one on one chat. It's got to be that together. Nigga, people.
Man, come on. Some of y'all dumber than a rock out here. Let me show somebody. Oh, They're going to show you how to do it. See, she wrong, but she did it right. The Magnificent and Jimby Rebel. She wrong, but she did it right. Can I get somebody with, with two? <laughs> somebody say, the Gene Deal Show, dumber and dumber. <laughs> I'm almost finished with this, man. And I'm going to get back to this thing. Look what Keisha, look what Keisha said. It's the, y'all wish a happy birthday. She said, it's the Dumber and Dumber show. <laughs> oh, my God. I guess they won't be getting a free book today. Nah. Nah. There you go, right there. Dion Mofat from St. Louis. It was because of Dion, it was because of the BET and the Tyler Perry show. That's why they took it off the air. Dion. Hit me up, Dion. Let me know where you want me to send your book at. Or you can wait on the next one. However you want to do it. Somebody say, not funny. <laughs> they made fun of Tyler Perry. And they made fun of the uh, BET uh, calling it uh, BET uh, uh, monstrous or murderous TV or something like that. Uh, uh, um, they went in on BET and they went in on Tyler Perry. So they put in major lawsuits and asked them to take it off and never to show it again. Yeah, we know Kanye, uh, South Park did it, but South Park is ran by some high-powered Jews because they, they make fun of the Jews they self on that show. That's what Cartman be doing all the time. But I'm saying that to say that there's people behind the scene that got so much power, and Puff is in bed. I mean, not literally. We know he's not literally in bed with them. We just, it's just a figure of speech that I'm saying. Puff is dealing and still doing business with them people behind the scene. But what they trying to do is they telling him he has to get his appeal back up to the, the community or well, not the community, community to the, to the, uh, to the public. He's at a down low with the public opinion that, his public opinion rating is, is so fucking low right now that nobody could ever do business with him. But then the people behind the scenes, even other artists, other artists, when they was coming out talking shit about R. Kelly, they still have yet came and said anything about Puff. Not one thing. Yeah. So if it ain't for the people on the internet and maybe if it don't make it to court or stuff 
if it goes to court, you'll see it on TMZ or somebody filed a, a, a big lawsuit or something like that. You'll see it on TMZ and those other little stations like that. But all the day-to-day -day shit, the stuff that's going on, if it's not because if it ain't because of the internet, Diddy didn't do it. Look, that's all right, man. We already been talking about you like crazy. They was in the chat, yo, dog. When you go back, luck, you just you just my father just came in. My man, they was talking about you like crazy, man. But it's all right. I, I was taking up for him. It was like your girl had you in church and everything like that and told you you had to go down there and, 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 and tell a preacher that you wanted to be saved. I'm like, damn. Yeah, the the public really gonna have to cancel him because the industry is not gonna cancel him unless he gets criminal charges against him for whatever reason. He get criminal charges against him and he doesn't beat the criminal charges. That's the only way that the public gonna ever do it. But right now, they buying for time, you understand, to Anybody who got something on him, we're going to pay them off. We're going to send them checks. We don't know if any of those Kim Porter tapes exist or whatever like that. You know, they 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 hurried up and buried her. He had a people. He had he had twenty four hour guards watching the casket all night. He had twenty four hours on the on the on the casket guards. He didn't want nobody to take that body out of there and go do some exams. You late, Kupi? What is Kalal? We you late? We already said that. Yeah, they called him the little Epstein, allegedly, right? Or is it true? And yo, Dion, I know you looked that up too. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was that was Tyler Perry's name, Winston Jerome on the Boondocks. Nah, he ain't gonna go down after Keefe D trial. Listen to me, man. Yeah. I just I heard that the even when the uh LaRob made the allegations about the person getting shot, they had two people in jail for the shooting already of the guy in the studio. I don't know how true that is. Somebody in California told me that they had two people in jail for that shooting. So, I don't know.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We said that. We said that too. Hold up. I got I got to let y'all see this dude right here cuz he want to be noticed. Bro, first and foremost, I shouldn't even pay you no attention, but I want everybody to know how Adolf Davis or Davis Davis how stupid you can be when I've been saying this shit since 97, 99. I've said all this shit on MTV, on BH1, because they didn't release it to you guys. Sorry. Did documentaries, been doing platforms. Did this shit when I was working for them. I went and told the fucking story and I was working for them. They just changed. They didn't, they hid my face, but they knew what it was. I held the picture in my hand. A big and they kill us. So, Bruh, I'm gonna do you a favor. So you, since you don't know enough, and you really don't want to know enough, and then you're trying to be slick by the mouth. See you when I see you. Left, get rid of him. Puff do sneaky shit. Like, Puff will set a nigga up or find out where somebody at and set a nigga up to get dealt with because one of his mans is somebody he know want to deal with him. A lot of people can read behind that that's smart enough. And I'm going to say it one more time. He the type of nigga that if his man got a problem with somebody and want to deal with another guy that he don't really know or he don't fuck with like that, he'll get the information on that guy, give it to his man so his man can handle that guy. That's all I'm going to say on that. He tried to do that shit to me. Where we at? But anyway, yo. All right, I'm going to send it straight to you, Dion. It's the same book. You want me to send you the same book? Oh, you said you'll take the new book. All right, it'll be out the first, the first week of April. It's supposed to come out the first week of April. Try to get it on my daughter's birthday, 404. Still got my hair lining. <laughs> Yo, left, left, don't be, left, don't be so mean. Left, hit the like button or get blocked. Come on, left, don't do the people like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, yo, yo um, it's a story that's coming out and it's going to be told by one of the greatest entrepreneurs 
and I, I guess you would call CEOs in the 90s, and that's Suge Knight. The story's supposed to be coming out tomorrow. I'm going to jump on it like a fat rat in the cheese factory. As soon as that story come out, I'm going to jump on it like a fat rat in the cheese factory. I'm not playing with it. I know, and I've been saying it, and when it come, I want y'all to look all. I think it's that uh, phone call that should be doing. I want everybody to go and look at that shit, man. Sure gonna be dropping some jewels on there. And I don't even fuck with Dave Mays and them like that. You know, I'm not promoting they shit like that, but I am promoting it. When there's when people come out with the real and they talking the real shit, yeah, I ain't got no problem with that. I don't I don't have a problem with you know, other YouTubers and they channels, unless they talking that bullshit. You get these clown ass niggas that talk clown ass shit and then try to make like they this, that, and the third, when in fact they not, and that they keep on talking, you will see that they not. Yeah, that's what it is right there. Collect call from Thanks, Venus Trotman. Ven Venus on a shit talking about. Let me help you out, Big Gene, because I know you old and you really don't be knowing, you know what I'm saying, all the latest stuff. But let me just put it, collect call from Suge Knight. Thanks, Venus. Trotman. Marion Suge Knight. So... He said a couple of shit that I said and then to prove that people knew about it. Shook said it a month before I said it on the internet. But what happens is, is that you got these half a homo ass niggas that want to, now they want to say, I knew all the shit that Puff was doing. And then they trying to say all the shit that he's, they, that people coming out and saying about them, I said it. It's a record of what I said. It's a record of what I said. And I did not talk that nigga business other than if somebody asked me about my personal feelings about what somebody said after 2004, 2004 to 2005. I got to figure out what it was like 2004 going into 2005. Probably like September or something like that. That I stopped fucking with him. Close to 2005. But anyway, I don't talk about the, the times that I've seen him back and forth. And he'd be like, yo, send this money, send this money to Gene. Get this money to Gene. Or do this like, man, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Take that shit back. I want that nigga money. Who's daddy's daughter? Ah, daddy's daughter. <laughs> Ferrari Fresh, he always looked at the nigga like a scum. They gotta be one of my little nieces. Samantha Baden. I love y'all in New Orleans, too. I can't wait to come back to New Orleans.
I love the I love the French quarters. I love the old French quarters. I love to eat at mothers. There's this fat motherfucker always talking about eating. <laughs> That's one of the greatest gifts of life, man. A good meal. Mm -mm -mm. They ain't the deacon's daughters. Why is NY City on lockdown? What happened? But anyway, listen here, y'all. Y'all got to go see that shit tomorrow. It's supposed to be dropping. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Soon as I look at it and I hear what he says, I'm going to be on motherfuckers like a fat rat in the cheese factory. I swear. I swear. I just want, I wanted to hear, I want y'all to hear it. Because I have been preaching it for so long. I'm not telling y'all. I'm not letting y'all know. No. No, uh, 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 no, Tarnisha, Tarnika, Tarnika, tell me. Gene, you're going to tell me because I'm going to call you behind the scene and I want to know everything. And you're going to tell me. You can say whatever you want to say, but you're going to tell me everything because I know how to get it out of man. Oh, for real, Tarnika. You think so? Big Gene, I know so. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, Kim, the songwriter. Look at right. Don't play with me. Urban Mac, what's good with you? Can't wait for that, man. But anyway, listen, man, I took out enough of y'all time. I've been here for an hour and a half, man. Hey, listen to me. Um, y'all take care of y'all self. Oh, this is what I want to say to y'all, and I'm going to lead this to y'all before y'all fall off the channel. Listen here, bro. Learn how to love what you have, what you got in your life. And treat every day as that day is going to be special. And make sure you tell the people that you love or you care for, that you love and you care for them. God said he comes as a thief in the night. He also comes as a thief in the daytime. Nigga, good, he'll pick your pockets clean. But make sure the time that you spend on this earth and you spend around the people that you love, you let them know you love them and you tell them. I went to a funeral. And I seen a young lady that didn't talk to her brother for two years. For two years, they had a little beef. That's her brother. And I just want to say this to you. You ain't got to fuck with him, but you could say, hey, hello. How you doing? Hope all is well. Talk to him or whatever like that. Or I'm saying this to say this. Other than his wife, guess who was crying the hardest, the hardest at the funeral? His sister. 
let people know that you love them. And if you got a beef with a brother, a sister, or a family member, a close friend, or anything that you care for, let them know it's all right. And in the middle of letting them know it's all right, don't hide the plug. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>